Finn Casey's Evening Show on More Than Just Radio. Hello, I'm Finn Casey. Hope you're well. Now, some people believe in hypnosis. I've read stone, you know, just click your fingers, you've fallen asleep. But it, just listen to this. More Than Just Radio. So, this evening I am joined with Chris. Hello, Chris. Hi, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You? Excellent, yes, not too bad. Um, so we're talking about hypnotis or hypnotism. What, what is the proper name of it? It's known as hypnosis and it is performed by hypnotists. Uh, and if you're going to do any sort of therapy style uh, hypnosis, that's known as hypnotherapy. Ah, okay. Um, so okay. What, what is hypnosis? What is hypnosis? Hypnosis is a bit strange, really. I think science is still still not really quite understood uh, what exactly it is. We do know it it definitely exists, uh, but as to as to what it is and and if how how you define it, I I like to define it as almost like chronic daydreaming. It's like. It's like staring out of a window at a nice field with flowers and trees oh. and a few cows maybe milling around. Mm -hmm. And just for a minute you find yourself just drifting off into quite a nice sort of little sort of daydream and it just feels very, very nice. Yeah. I've never been hypnotised. Well, it's it's interesting. I like I like to say there isn't a single person on this planet who can hypnotise anybody. Mm. The reason I say that is because your job as a hypnotist is to is to guide the person you're working with into doing hypnosis. Yeah. So the only person who's actually doing hypnosis is the person you're doing the hypnosis with. Yeah. So so they're doing the hypnosis, not me. I'm not doing it. I'm not hypnotizing them. They're hypnotizing themselves. Ah, right. So all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. Yeah. So when people say does self-hypnosis work? Yes, self-hypnosis does work. So basically, um, they're just doing... When, when you hypnotise someone, they're just doing what you tell them to do. Well, when somebody... <laughs> let, me, let me see if I can try and make this as, as simple. It, the problem is, it's a huge subject, and you can, yeah. and, and, and you can take it to a, a very, very big level. It depends on where you, you, know, you want to start. But I like to sort of see the mind as being being almost two minds i mean there's there's almost three minds but but just for the purpose of this we'll talk about two minds we'll talk about a conscious mind which is where we are now and then we'll talk about a, a subconscious mind which is where you know all these weird feelings and all sorts of strange behaviors and habits and protection mechanisms you may have you know yeah. uh, things that maybe will move your hand when somebody tries to stab it with a needle for yeah. instance you don't have to think about moving your hand your subconscious will make it happen for you yeah uh, that's that's primarily what the subconscious is about it's about protecting it's about keeping you safe yeah your subconscious is protected almost from accepting suggestions yeah by something in the middle which is like a gate and this gate looks at the suggestion that is being put to the subconscious and says, do I want to let it through or not? Yeah. So if I was to say to you, at the count of three, I'm going to click my fingers and you're going uh, you're gonna to believe you are Elvis. And you are going to dance around like Elvis, you're going to do all the Elvis moves. You're going to turn around to me and say, no. <laughs> A little less conversation. Well, yeah, maybe. Depending on how much you have to drink. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, in, in a standard situation, you, w you would say no. Mm. Uh, and th the reason you say no is because you're sub this, this sort of in-between part between your conscious and your subconscious is basically saying, no, I'm not going to do that because because I'm, I'm aware of everybody around me. I don't want to look yeah. like a fool. There's all these other things, yeah. bits and pieces. So it's very important, this, this kind of gateway in the middle, uh, because obviously if you accepted every suggestion that was given to you, yeah. you may end up in a lot of trouble. In hypnosis, what happens is, is this gate, it's bypassed. Yeah. So when you put somebody into hypnosis, the, the gateway as such is bypassed, which means that when you give that person an, 
a suggestion, i.e. the suggestion that at the count of three they're going to believe they're Alvis. Yeah. As long as that suggestion doesn't conflict with their own morals and values, yeah. they will carry it out. Yeah. So, another great example is probably around the smoking side. You, if, if you are a smoker, you will say to yourself, I'm going to stop smoking. And you say that, you say, I'm going to stop smoking, I'm going to stop smoking tomorrow. And tomorrow comes and you do fairly well. But what happens is, is you try and accept this suggestion that you're giving yourself to stop smoking. Yeah. But your subconscious says, well, hang on a minute. I can't accept that suggestion. There's so many behaviours I do, there's so many things I do. I, yeah. I get up in the morning and I have a cigarette and I have one at lunchtime and I socialise with my mates and, and there's, there's so many behaviours I do with smoking and it's going to take me so long yeah. to undo all these behaviours, I'm just not going to do it. Mm. So you reject the, you actually reject the suggestion. Yeah. And of course, the only place it can go is to the willpower, you know, the willpower part of your mind. Yeah. And of course, willpower eventually it runs out, and then you start smoking again. Mm. So, so, so the thing is, when you put something into hypnosis and you uh, and you give them a suggestion like that, yeah, they will accept the suggestion. Yeah. So it's a bit it's a bit of a strange thing to try and get your head around. It's a bit like if somebody says something not particularly nice about you. Yeah. And then you find out that they didn't really mean it. Mm. And you find yourself in your mind going over and over and over it and, and saying, I, stop being silly. I know he didn't mean it. Yeah. I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah. But then you find that it just keeps going round yeah. and round and round in the back yeah, of your head. It does, yeah. And you keep saying it to yourself, look, I'm being stupid, I don't need to worry about it. You know, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. You say this to yourself over and over again. But it doesn't make a difference. No. The reason it doesn't make a difference is because your subconscious will not accept the suggestion that it didn't matter. No. So what you could do with a person like that is you could drop them into hypnosis. Yeah. Give them, tell them that they don't need to worry about it anymore. No. And they'll say, yeah, I can do that and they will accept that suggestion and it won't bother them anymore. Mm. So it's quite good all in all, isn't it? I find I've I've had a lot of people on my one day training courses which were people who had been doing hypnotherapy for five, six, seven years. Yeah. But they've always done it you know the same way. They yeah. do a very, very slow yeah. induction into hypnosis which, yeah. which takes takes a long time. Mm. Whereas the methods I tend to use take under sort of three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't want to waste time no. putting somebody in hypnosis. I want to get them in there as quickly as I can. Yeah, yeah. And we teach those, we teach those techniques um, on the one-day hypnosis courses that uh, that I run. Yeah. So. There are a few of those about. There's a few people who do one-day introductions. But a one-day introduction to hypnosis is a good way of starting because yeah. it gives you a taste that before you commit to an awful lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should consider going on one of those courses to hypnotise my boss. Indeed. <laughs> well, for a pay rise. <laughs> yeah, um, he wishes. Um, so you have got a website where there are some, it are some good, interesting videos on uh, yep. you hypnotising people. Um, yes, I do. There's, um, there's, there's my website, which is www.chrishugheshypnotist.co.uk, and that that contains a lot of information. Uh, but of course. You can also find me on YouTube, which is full of videos and yeah. more information. Uh, and I'm on Twitter as well as um, Hypnotist Chris. You'll find me on Twitter under Hypnotist Chris. And I'll put all those links on the More Than Just Radio fan page on Facebook if you want to get hold of them. Um, thank you, Chris. Is there anything else you would like to say before you go? Uh, no, just, just as I said before, everybody get... Get rid of that word try, get rid of that word hope. Okay. Uh, stop trying to do things and just get off your bum and start making them happen, yeah. is what I say. Yeah, so everyone grab their dictionaries now. Tip X for word try out and everyone tip X for word hope out. That's correct. <laughs> and get just... rid of them, never use them again yeah. and your life will change. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Chris. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem.